it's slightly easier for retail than on trade because we we do have people who come in not sure what they want they're searching around um, and we have that opportunity to hand sell um, and you know Cremont I think for a you know, the foreseeable future will always be a hand sell because people aren't familiar with it. They may not have tried it, but then once they've tried it and, you know, we all know that Cremont um, in particular um, does offer incredible value for money. Um, and so once you've got people into the category, then you're golden. Um, it's that kind of getting people into the category. And I think, particularly in on-trade, and obviously no, correct me if I'm wrong here, but for the on-trade, I think the only way you'll see considerable sales for a Cremont is by not having a Prosecco. Because if people come in, they see Prosecco, as Noel said, they know it, they'll buy it. Whereas if there isn't a Prosecco option, there's something else, then they'll go, okay, I'll try it. Particularly if it's by the glass, you can offer them a taster and they'll be like, that's delicious, lovely. And that, that is- 100% correct. It'll also be almost commercial suicide. Yeah, exactly. And that's, the, yeah, exactly. That's the, the problem where- and if it has to be by the glass. And the yeah, problem if, is you have to get the throughput by the glass to get people to make that decision to, to try it by the glass. If it's not on by the glass, then you might as well not have it listed. Yeah, and I think that is where, I think the the challenge goes back to producers in that if you're wanting to support this category in the UK, there has to be a certain level of realism in that if you want it to be on by the glass and if you want to support someone to put it on by the glass without a Prosecco, it needs to at least stack up commercially for the operator. Um, I know that there's some English um, sparkling wine producers who have done this and you know had those partners where they've taken Prosecco off the list and obviously it flies but it costs them but at yeah. least it's bringing more people to the category and without that without people tasting it you're not going to get the kind of the volumes that we all want to see in Cremont. 